when we invented Fight Club, Tyler and I. Neither of us had ever been in a fight before. If you've never been in a fight, you wonder about getting hurt, about what you're capable of doing against another man. I was the first guy Tyler ever felt safe enough to ask, and we were both drunk in a bar where no one would care, so Tyler said, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. But Tyler explained it all, about not wanting to die without any scars, about being tired of watching only professionals fight, and wanting to know more about himself, about self-destruction. At the time, my life just seemed too complete, and maybe we have to break everything to make something better out of ourselves. I looked around and said, okay, but outside in the parking lot. We went outside and I asked Tyler if he wanted it in the face or in the stomach. Surprise me, Tyler said. Did it never hit anybody? He said, go crazy, man. I said, close your eyes. No, Tyler said. Like every guy on his first night in Fight Club, I breathed in and swung my fist in a roundhouse at Tyler's jaw like in every cowboy movie we'd ever seen. And me, my fist connected with the side of Tyler's neck. <laughs> oh, shit, that didn't count. Tyler said, yeah, it counted. It hit me. Straight on, pow. Just like a cartoon boxing glove on a spring on Saturday morning cartoons. Right in the middle of my face, and I fell back against the car. <laughs> we both stood there. Tyler rubbing the side of his neck and me holding a hand on my face. Both of us knowing we'd gotten somewhere we'd never been like a cat and mouse in cartoons, we were still alive and wanted to see how far we could take this thing and still be alive. Hit me again, I said. No, you hit me, Tyler said. Well, I hit him. What happened next and after that didn't happen in words, but the bar closed and people came out and shouted around us in the parking lot. Nothing was solved when the fight was over, but nothing mattered.